This is Dr. Lee Schwartzberg for Practice Update. Today we're going to be discussing the upcoming 2013 San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium, the most important breast cancer meeting of the year. And this year will prove to be just as exciting as previous years. We, there's a great lineup of studies that will be presented. A number of these will deal with the neoadjuvant treatment of breast cancer. Neoadjuvant therapy has really been gaining in popularity recently because it is a wonderful platform to experiment with early response in difficult to treat subtypes of breast cancer. This year we're gonna hear uh, the first results of the iSPY trial, which is an adaptive study, which we've been waiting for the results um, with bated breath because it's such an innovative treatment. And the first thing we're going to be hearing about is the use of carboplatinum and viliparib in patients who are undergoing uh, neoadjuvant chemotherapy for high-risk breast cancer. Now, both of these drugs are interesting, carboplatinum, because there's a fair amount of evidence that cisplatinum and carboplatinum may play a role in improving response rates and outcome for patients with triple negative breast cancer. And for other patients with high risk, the PARP inhibitors, of which viliparib is one, uh, have been a, a factor of interest uh, for for not only triple negative breast cancer in general, but also that subgroup of patients who have BRCA1 or 2 mutations. So we'll be awaiting these results with great interest. In addition, we'll be hearing uh, the results of another carboplatinum or bevacizumab added trial in the neoadjuvant setting. Two other drugs that in past years have shown uh, some activity. So I think when we hear the, these results, we'll know better where the use of platinum falls for triple negative breast cancer in the neoadjuvant setting. The other area that we're very interested in the neoadjuvant setting is in HER2 positive breast cancer. And we'll be hearing the final results of the NeoAlto study, which was a study that looked at either lapatinib or trastuzumab alone or in combination with chemotherapy given to HER2 positive breast cancer patients. We have seen in the past that the combination of anti-HER2 therapy has increased the pathologic complete response rate, the primary endpoint for neoadjuvant trials. What we'll be hearing at San Antonio this year is the correlation between the pathologic complete response rate and the overall survival and progression-free survival in this population. This is really a key linkage because if pathologic complete response is to be a good surrogate marker, it must indicate an improvement down the road in progression-free survival. We will also hear the final results of the TRIO B07 trial, another neoadjuvant study looking at lapatinib, trastuzumab, and chemotherapy, either together or alone with regard to the HER2 agents, and see the final results of this randomized phase two study. Between all of these trials, we'll have a good idea of the neoadjuvant therapy with lapatinib, trastuzumab, and chemotherapy, both with regard to pathologic complete response rates of the antibodies alone in combination with chemo and the long-term outcome from this combination.